Hey there. I was just going to make a video about, you know, just kind of uh, what it's like to live here in the Northwest Territories of Canada. I think that a lot of people just actually don't totally understand just how isolated we are here, how far away from everything, you know, that we are. And, um, you just to kind of put it into perspective, like we actually didn't have a land connection to the South, like for supplies, there was a period of time each previous year where, you know, we didn't have a, a connection where we could get like supplies coming in or, you know, even leaving. And, um, if you relied a lot on ground transportation, you definitely had to factor that in, you know, with your previous plans. But actually, I believe it was November last year that they were able to open the Decho Bridge, which is going across one of the largest rivers in actually North America. And um, this is the Mackenzie River, of course. And the bridge is built over by Fort Providence, which I guess is the most ideal crossing point or whatever. And um, ever since that opened, we're supposedly like serviced with, you know, year-round supplies, which is kind of nice. But also that the fact that there is a toll on the bridge, which is supposed to pay for the bridge, I think is the big plan. But just regular everyday passenger vehicles they don't have to pay anything you know to go across or whatever but also the other thing that we have to deal with is extreme cold i can think back clearly to 2002 it was february i remember i worked at the local grocery store here and um we were doing deliveries and stuff and it was actually, I remember that morning clearly because I looked at the weather network on TV and um, it was minus 53 Celsius. And with the wind chill that day, minus 68 Celsius, which I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's like pretty, pretty cold. And um, incidentally, this coincided with the very first time I ever got frostbite on my face right here. And let me tell you, getting frostbite is exactly like burning your face. Like, I don't know how to explain that. It's not pleasant. You don't want to experience that kind of cold. Let alone do you want to experience it and not be dressed. And actually, you have to be very aware of what you're wearing and especially realize that when you step outside that door, if your vehicle breaks down, are you going to be prepared for that? Mm, are you going to be able to walk and make it without getting frostbite? Now, these are things I think of. <laughs> So you'll always have to be thinking of the cold. We live far. We actually don't have all the same stores that they have down south. Um, I just feel that it's a slower pace here. What's also good is that you can really get to know people. You see personalities a little bit more than, say, in the big city. But at the same time... I feel that people are so quick to judge um, in a small place like this, as well maybe relying on information that mm, isn't probably the best like sources, let's say. And how's about let's getting to know people like for yourself and you know, this is a small town place definitely and there's definitely a lot of small town qualities <laughs> it's kind of quaint and pleasant but at the same time um, putting up with the isolation the cold as you can imagine it is for me it's home <laughs>
and um, I enjoy it. It's it's a good place to just come chill out, and you're just relaxed. And um, I haven't found any other place just like it. And aside from that, who knows what else is out there? But for now, like Northwest Territories has a lot to offer. The jobs are fairly good here, and. Um, I actually think there's no other place in Canada just quite like this. And I've actually been to quite a bit of Canada now. I would definitely, definitely say this is unique. It's interesting. I know there's a ton of Japanese people that come here from all the way like across the Pacific Ocean just to see the Northern Lights that actually <laughs> I take for granted, I almost didn't even mention that, but um, when you live somewhere your whole life, you actually get so used to seeing something that you don't give it a second thought. And maybe it's a good idea to really, really remember that, you know, the beauty that exists around you, not everyone else gets to see that. And especially not in their lifetime and just to imagine that I'm here and I see it all the time and I'm really not that amazed anymore but at least I'm being honest right but anyways that's my video about living in the north hopefully you found it informative um, I probably could have said a whole bunch more than I did but um, it's definitely Definitely a lot to say and hopefully hopefully you liked the video. Thanks. Alright. See ya.